thing is on setting up the Mad Hatter bot. So the first thing I would do is to go to a uh, Binance and kind of I'm kind of basically you know once you log in kind of go to the Ether market pair. That's what I mainly trade in, and then sort by volume from highest to lowest. And so I was I've done most of the highest one already. So I just kind of go down the list. And I think we're down to Ven. I think we already did Ven somewhere here. Ven's right there. And so next one is ELF. So ELF is a dollar eighty-seven, and this is an Ether price. So that's Ether of point zero zero one six seven translates to dollar eighty-seven. Okay. So a lot of the markets are down right now, um, and that's fine, you know, because we're going to monitor a lot of the coins. Eventually, when we get to points where it'll pick the one that has the best gain and uh, go from there. So like. DGD and Trig, uh, it'll monitor and know which coin to jump on. Okay, all right. So we're gonna start setting up Ven, and I'll show you how to do that. So we'll go ahead and click on the little gear button on the left side here. It'll open up this. Click on Trade Bots and go to Custom Bots. Okay. Uh, then you click the plus button. Make sure you select Mad Hatter is usually at the very bottom. And then just type in Ven ETH. Actually, it was, is it Ven? ELF, actually. We're doing ELF. And then select Hien Binance. That's the account that I'm using. And then uh, ELF. Ether pair at the bot. Alright, so once the bot is created, we're going to click on that. And then, based on the price, we usually trade about $500 at this point. Um, uh, use that as a rule of thumb, and then uh, I will increase it personally later on. So, at $500, um, $500 divided by the cost of ELF is at $1.88. So, that means we could trade about, uh, let's say it's rounded up to $2.00. So two dollars times a uh, thousand is two thousand dollars, right? All right. So you could probably trade about five hundred of these. So five hundred times two dollars is a thousand. So two fifty times two dollars is five hundred. So we can then know that we're we'll be trading about two hundred fifty dollars or two hundred fifty coins. I mean. So uh, let me go back to the coin that I had clicked out of it and once you create it make sure that you it doesn't you know you make sure you have to go back and select it okay because sometimes you could be on a different window it might be on a different coin and we're modifying the wrong coin and then we're like oh shoot I messed it up so make sure that uh, when you click on it that you see the little arrow and it's pointing to it sometimes the arrow might disappear and you might go, go like this and then whatever Make sure it's always back to this so that we know we're on the right one. Okay. And you can also double check that. So since we go in here, we can click on full screen. And then we can then adjust the trade amount. So the trade amount is going to be 250 coins that we're going to be trading to make $500. And then we go down here. And then we're going to go and adjust the. I'll put this to zero. And. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the RSI, kind of find a point where the bottom to top, where it buys low and sells high, is pretty much similar, like happens pretty frequently uh, throughout the trade. So everything's starting to come back out now and bounce because everything was down 10%. Um, so like here's one, bottom high. Um, so that height has happened. So it has, kind of happens again. This looks about the same height. Uh, this looks about the same height, and that looks about the same height. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one of these guys that I think happens frequently. So it's about trading frequently throughout the day. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go with this one. This looks like it. And then where it buys is where it breaks the boiler band. So if the candlesticks go below the boiler bands as it buys, once it breaks the, the, the band on top, it sells. Okay. So based on that, I'm just gonna highlight here and you can see up here lower and higher. I'm gonna enter the, the uh, this on my spreadsheet. 
the low, which is uh, 0 0.016792. So I'm going to put this in a spreadsheet, which I'll include in the training. I'm going to put it on the side so I can easily type it. Uh, kind of. 0 0.016792. And then the top, where it breaks the band, is 17268. Okay, so I typed it in, the low and the high, and it seems means it's going to buy here and sell at 207. So that is a profit of $53 if I traded about, uh, let's see, I trade 250. So I'm making $13 on this trade. <laughs> And that's 2.83%. So it'll sell minimum price 2.83%. is where it's going to sell. Okay. All right. And then the bands, I have to, I make sure that the band barely touches the like crosses over. Okay. It has to be more. So it crosses over. So I'm going to lower this just a little bit by 75 for the RSI band. And of course, it kind of shifts the thing. You guys try to go back to the place where you had done the calculation. I think it was here. So I'm going to keep going till it kind of touches a majority of a lot of the points here. So let's go down to 70 now. And yeah, so these are all cell signals here. And that looks pretty good. It's probably touching. I just can't really see it. All right. So and then the bottom one, I make sure it kind of crosses over just a little bit too. So 25. Okay. So it just barely crosses, and it's barely touching some of them. Okay. And that's all I want. All right, so now with that, we're just going to go ahead and back test it for two weeks. Always do two weeks because we're looking for long term. So it does a 45% ROI within two weeks on this, which is pretty good. But now let's try and improve it. So, so if this setting is good, I'm going to go ahead and click on full screen here and just kind of screenshot the settings. So I'm using Jinx since I'm recording with the Snagit, and so it's good that you would also screenshot it because it's hard to get the settings back once you adjust it, and uh, it goes off somewhere weird. Copy. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this to the side, and let's go back and adjust things. Uh, this actually this might be a better point to adjust because then you can actually see the um, the ROI. So let's just adjust this. There you go. Snapshot that so you can see the ROI and the settings. Okay, that's probably a better screenshot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do now is to change um, test out certain points and then we're going to test out the uh, moving average type to see that improves anything. Okay, so we're going to uncheck that save and back test two weeks so did it improve anything from 45 percent uh 45 1 2 uh 45 6 5 we actually made it worse so let's uh keep that on save and then reset middle uh, every time you, if you're on here, this doesn't this doesn't auto save, so you have to make sure you have to save it every time, okay? Uh, if you don't do that, you're gonna be like, why is it the same thing and miss the setting that we were supposed to change? We didn't. So 4554, not as good. You know, keep it back on, put it back, and then uncheck the other one, save, back test that one. Forty-three didn't make it any better. So we 
keep that on. Save. And after a while, it's just kind of back to just reset, get back to the 45.6 that we had before, or 45.37. And then we click on this thing, save, back test. Seventy-two. Okay, well that's way better. So let's keep the seventy-two, and we're gonna screenshot this as a new, uh, an improved setting. Okay, screenshot that aside so that's good all right and now we're gonna start split testing or back testing the EMA so scroll all the way to the bottom when it starts with W save back test see if we can improve this all right so 728 uh, we had 728.305 nothing changed head back And then Trima. So I think you get the point. Um, I'll just do the rest. You can fast forward if you like. Uh, and I'm just trying to find an improvement on 72. So this is 7309. So this is the next best one. So screenshot that. one save back test two weeks <laughs> oh 80 percent that's even better than uh, 73 percent so we're gonna screenshot this one all right so new screenshots Well, this is probably one of the best ones I've found so far. And kind of just go through the same process here and just keep going. Some coins probably don't perform good at all. So if it's really bad, no matter how, how what you do, then it is what it is. Some coins could be like 5%. But I try to aim 15% to 30%. T3. Save. It looks like it knows how to do it. I haven't back tested. It's kind of weird. Oh, 73, okay. Alright, let's go to the next one. We did SMA, that's what the, the, the default was, SMA. Back test that. <laughs> I got baby Evan with me. Let's see. Say, hey, Evan. <laughs> Alright, so, anyways. Uh, 80.4, is that better? 80.4 versus 84.7, that's, that's a new one. That seems to be doing better. Let's screenshot this one. Uh, that's the next best setting. Uh, let me go back to the settings. That one aside, that's the latest and greatest. Mama, comma. Let's see that one. Normally, Mama doesn't work at all for me, but this one's starting to work here. Seventy. Nope. Don't like that. And EMA. Two weeks. 73, nope. Dima, save. Back test. Two weeks. 80.6, ooh, that's a new one. 80.4, so that's the keeper. We're gonna keep that one and we're gonna screenshot this too. Alright, 
right, so screenshot 3.6. You know what? I'm gonna say just screenshot the whole thing instead of having to do two separate screenshots. Uh, cancel. That way, it's all all there. What's oh, a? Uh, where's my mouse? Can't find my mouse. Did it freeze on me? Oh, oh no! Jing, stop! Okay, close program. Hopefully, while I'm, I'm still recording, and things aren't messed up. <laughs> or unless, what's going on? Closed. Okay, so let's try it again. All right, so what we're gonna do now is pull out the. Let me restart Jing. Okay. So this is the best setting. Oh, you know what? Screenshot the whole thing so I can see the uh, what coin it is. There you go. So I know it's pointing at ELF and all this other good stuff. Screenshot. All right, so now that it's screenshot, we're going to copy this, and then we're going to put this into the Pulse, or uh, Monday. Monday. Uh, this is for our own record keeping, um, and on also, we're going to put some, add some redundancy to it, and then add it to our, uh, our bot strategy group so that uh, other people can uh, get on this, too. So I will put this here. So now we create a uh, ELF slash ETH. And it's under the Active Income Projects. Click on that. Info box. Add notes. And just put 80% on today's date. 2-01-2018. And 80% or something like that. And then... Uh, paste the entire settings in there so I can see it save and it's, it's done 80 percent all right and then in the spreadsheet we're going to be adding uh, all the and I've shared access with your personal account I believe so that you can get access to this uh, we're gonna go and type in co the coin pair So I'm going to go here, E, L, F, slash, E, T, H, um, today's date, oh, that's the, uh, right there, and then the ROI would be, what we had pasted in, I think it's 80%. So let me just go to it real quick. 80%, okay, 80.6. Okay, and then indicator consensus. So we're going to basically copy all the settings uh, that's on there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to split the screen. And where's my Monday spreadsheet? ELF, info box. All right, so you could just uh, type all of that in in consensus, checked. Checked or unchecked, okay. Uh, I'm gonna 
price to buy, 0, 2.83, stop loss, uh, 0, length, 20, 2, 2, DEMA, deviation, 0, checked, The length 14, 25, 70, MACD 12, 26, 9. Alright, so that'll be it. And then uh, we're going to probably just center justify everything so that um, it's called. It looks good. Okay. So this is uh, for our private group. Uh, and then this is just our, our records for our own, so just in case uh, if if something changes or we messed up, we can refer back to it and get the actual screenshot. Okay. All right. I think that's uh, another thing I would also spit test, which I forgot to do before I even went to this this far, is um, testing positive negative. 0.25 on this, so um, I'll just kind of round it up to 0 0.75, maybe 3. So I'll probably go down 0 0.25, so that'll be 2.5. Okay, I'll just round it up to 0 0.75 and see if that made any difference. So I'm 80.63, so that made it worse. Not sure why I did that, but. Usually the numbers that we calculate on the spreadsheet does a pretty good job. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> and then three. Eighty-three point three. So that does even better. Okay. So that might be a good thing to keep. If it does good, what happens if we increase it even more? Now this is just to, to do because uh, I know that when you back test is good, but then when you run it in reality, it kind of changes still. So I don't know why it does that. I think this is probably a point where um, you probably keep going. You know, God, if I keep doing well, and then we'll do one at zero, it's just for observation, really. But I'd still go back to what we calculated because in, in the future, even though it back tests it well, it's going to change in the future and then it's going to, you know, do something weird. So zero doesn't work either. And that's just for me because I think someone else had done a setting with zero and it worked well for them. All right, so now I'm just going to go back to my old numbers again. Um, but just, you know, if you notice it's something, sometimes in the future we might want to split test it and say, hey, you know, if we just increased it, it worked well. Well, maybe we should just keep it. But um, I, I don't like to just enter random numbers that we haven't calculated because there's like there's no rhyme or reason. So then you just keep guessing on it. So let's go back to my uh, my picture settings here because I lost it. Uh, 2.83, I believe, right? 2.83. 2.83. Save. And uh, I think the price is going down because uh, you're getting new data now that came in. Right. Or I ended up to the wrong one. So let's go back to my Monday app and uh, see if that was correct. So it is what it is. All right. So now that that is done, uh, what we do now is then um, we'll save this and then uh, leave it. Uh, don't start it. Just leave it there and then uh, click on that group. Go to Mad Hatter approved and then just add the bot. Hit manage and then under custom bots, you should see all the Mad Hatters are in bright red. So it was ELF that we just did, and then just add that to it, and then close. Okay. 
That way I can you know, activate all the bots or deactivate all the bots and go from there. So, because, and then, you know, later on once I approve and I see that you're doing well, you can then probably just start it. And when you do start it, I'll make sure I clear everything. Yes, it's cleared. Uh, the trade amount's correct. Uh, 250 should get me about 500. And then I think I, I have a little less than 500 in there right now, so I'm just going to lower this a little bit to 200. And that's kind of, um, unless, you know, my stuff increases, my, 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 my trade amount increases, then I'll add more. But for now, I'll just trade. Also, I um, need to make sure that we're in the right coin position. Um, we always start with Ether, because that's what we have. To, it's kind of like uh, what you buy in with, you use Ether to buy ELF. Alright, so Evan's getting a little fussy here. Save and then start. Hey buddy, what's going on? Alright, so now that's up and running now. So as soon as the uh, you know this other coin sells, once it sells it'll then turn this the dollar sign will will turn off. Then it'll, it'll say it has money for it to buy and then it'll start buying. Okay? Alright, so that's it for this training. Thank you and have a good one.